what's up guys we're back at it with another one and today we're gonna be peacock bass fishing our offshore charter unfortunately got canceled I guess it's a little bumpy offshore we are back out here we're going to try to get some more peacock bass and hopefully there's not as many people out here this time and we got Chris here again let's see what we can do today Snake, 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 snake. You almost ran into a snake, snake. It's dead. Here's a rattlesnake. It's Eastern Dimeback rattlesnake. It's had to have been yesterday. Yeah, this was yesterday, later in the day. Someone did it on purpose, and then they took its rattle. Really? Yep. Then the person took part of the rattle. Here's an Eastern Dimeback rattlesnake. It's fresh, yesterday fresh, because it's not too stiff. Unfortunate, very unfortunate that this rattlesnake's dead like this. Such a gorgeous animal. Man. All right, we're going to continue on to the spot. Probably going to get my cell phone, just get a quick picture of it, though. Well, we finally made it out to the spot. Saw a few bears, just saw one right in front of us, actually, as we were standing outside of the truck, but no one's GoPro seemed to work at that moment, so we didn't get it on film. Anyhow, we're going to get some live bait on, cast them out. And, oh, yeah. We are using one free line setup, one with a split shot like a foot and a half up from the hook. The water's a lot deeper right now and it seemed like a lot of the peacocks yesterday were down deep. So we're gonna try that setup out and see what happens. We each have two lines out. We have one live line, free line, no weight. We have one with a little split shot and a shiner out towards the middle, towards the bottom. We, ha we did see a lot of peacocks towards the bottom the other day. So we're gonna try it out this way and see what happens. First fish, live line for Chris. And it's a nice little peacock, nice. Look at the blue in that one. It's a decent fish, bigger than what I thought. Yeah. Be careful. Uh, yeah, Can you too heavy to swing? Chris with the nice male peacock. Chris, what's the scientific name of this species of peacock bass? I have no idea, but he just spit the hook. Cicla <laughs> ocellaris. Very cool fish. We're going to get a picture for Chris, and we're going to send her back home. Time to send this peacock back home. And, er, maybe not. There he goes. See you, bud. We are at a totally different spot now. We have shiners on split shots out in front of this rushing water coming over this dam. Um, it's a spot that I've never fished before, so... Let's see if we can manage something. I might have a runoff going on here. We'll see. Yep, yep, yep. Nice. First fish at the new spot. I don't know what it is. It's fighting good because of the current. It's going towards rocks. That's oh, a big Mayan cichlid. <laughs> big Mayan cichlid. Not was what I was expecting on a big old shiner. Come on. All right, first fish, new spot, Mayan cichlid on a big old shiner. These things will eat anything. Very cool. There he is. Juicy old Mayan, we're gonna get him off the hook and put him back in. Gonna run off on my live shiner. Feels decent, I think it's a large mouth. Yeah, I think it's a large mouth. One that we've seen cruising the whole time, right? Nice. All right, first fish back at the bridge. We didn't have much luck at the dam after that mine cichlid, so we, we went off-roading a little bit. Stopped back at the bridge before we we're gonna proceed on. And it's just a little LMB. Right there, a little chunk ball though. Look at his stomach, huh? How about that? Pretty cool little chunk. He's been eating. He's definitely been eating. Those little minnows that are down there. And we're going to get them right back home. Thanks, little guy. See ya. 
Chris just got a fish at the new location here. A little baby peacock. Look at this little peacock bass. How cool is that? I didn't even know I had him. <laughs> cool little peacock. Nice little peacock bass. The smallest one I've seen in a while. Get him back in. Let's get a bigger one. Yeah, that much better. Right, Chris has got a fish here. We have a truck that's having issues. Is he? What we got? Yeah, nice largemouth. Real nice. Swing him on up. I'm just gonna pull him off. Feel like I could have swung him. Nice right, so largey. Just like a pound or so. Oop, hook came out the other side. Nice little largey for Chris. We're gonna toss him back in. Hopefully, get a bigger fish. Yeah. So I just dropped down because there were some peacocks swimming around and I think they got the shiner. Let's see. Yep, got them. Nice. Not big peacocks. Just little guys, but still nonetheless, we didn't catch much today. So every fish is good. There's another one swimming next to it. Don't want to break my rod. Get this bad boy on up. There he is. Looks like a little male, possibly. Nice little male. Look at that red on his fins down there. It's like a dark, dark blood red. That's really cool because this canal water is pretty dark. The next canal we're going to go to, if we catch them, you'll see that they're a lot lighter colored. But there's a lot of traffic. Seems like everyone's going home from work right now. We're going to pop the hook out of this peacock. Get another one. Nice. Chris has got a fish on. New spot. Same bridge as the last video. Largey. Nice. Oh, not bad. Swing them on up. There you go. Good fish. They're not the biggest largemouth that we ever caught down here. But nonetheless, it's a fish. We're happy with it. There he is. We're going to get him back in. Get another shiner on. Toss him on this side so we don't disturb the side we're fishing. There he goes. See you, bud. Thank you. I think I definitely have something going on. Yep, I got it this time. It feels pretty decent. Nice largemouth. Yes. Oh, good one. Oh, wow. Not giant, but good. I'm happy with that. Could be one of the last fish of the day. We only got a few shiners left. We've got like two in the bucket or three in the bucket. And what's on our rods right now? Nice bass. Yeah. Heck yeah, that's a good one. I think that's the biggest one of the trip. Check her out. Not a bad fish. We're going to let this young buck go. Thank you for coming for a visit today. And we're going to send you back home. See ya. Here, I caught this for you. Chris just caught me a fish. I'm going to reel her in. Yep, fish on. What do we got? Doesn't feel giant, it feels decent. What do we got here, boys? Oh no, oh no. Really? He's still on. He's in something. Ow, ow, ow. What do we got? Another largey? Oh, come on. Get out of that. Yeah, another largey. Right? Yeah. Quite a few largies in here today, huh? There he is. These are little butterballs, man. Look at the stomach on this thing. A little butterball. Oh, yours. Your live line. Yeah. Chris yeah. has got one over there. Here's my large mouth, little butterball. What do you got? Looks like a cichlid. Cichlid? Yeah. Oh yeah, Chris got a Mayan. I got a large mouth. Native, non-native. How about that? Pretty cool. Cichlid's bigger than the bass, just about weight-wise. Yeah, weight-wise, he's bigger. Really? Yeah. That's pretty funny. He's going to get that off. I'm going to toss the largey back in. And see you later, bud. Thank you. And there's the mine. Good light time. light mine, mine. Not that dark red like the usually are. Toss them in. See ya. Okay. Oh, and your bottom. Your bottom line. Oh. <laughs> I just caught you three fish in a row. How about that? You, did you see the line now? Yeah. As soon as you said it. Yeah. All right. Some live action going on here. And we only have one shiner left besides the two that are on her bottom rods. And I'm going to put it on Chris's live line and see what I can do with that. I think Chris has got something on here. Oh, bottom rig. Good fish. Doesn't look too bad. Nice large mouth, huh? Yeah, nice large mouth. Heck yeah, man. Very nice. A lot of large mouth around. Oop. Got stuck on the bridge for a second there. Oh, we caught him yesterday. Oh, yeah. 
Wow, look. The one that we caught yesterday. I guess he didn't learn his lesson. The reason we know that is he has that tear in his lip right there. Nice fish anyhow. We're just going to get him back in. And Chris is going to continue fishing with a Senko. And I still have a couple live shiners out. Very nice. Just messing around, tossing his dead shiner around. And something, I believe, just grabbed it. So we're going to see what is there. Yep, something. Oh, it came off. All right, no more shiners. <laughs> but I do have a little surprise for you guys we're actually going to be stopping fishing here we're going to be heading down to the everglades to some dirt roads um if it is still daylight when we get down there i highly doubt it or it'll be close to dark but if we do have some light left we're going to toss around some sankos and then uh, we're going to do something i have not done in quite a while since maybe the last time chris was here we're going to do some nighttime road cruising if we could see any venomous snakes so hopefully that works out for us and we'll see when we get there. We just made it down to the swamp. Last like 20 minutes of light. I'm gonna toss around this wise guy tackle Sanko. See if I can pull off a largemouth bass. It's gonna make her flip straight across. Walking to another spot to try. Gotta be very careful here because this is just a straight up bank and there's a lot of gators in this area. Nice. Just be careful. Especially if one of us gets a fish. New spot. Let's see if we can get him here. Good cast. Like that cast. Bro, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, that's not coming out. Oh yeah. It's probably not even worth retying. It's getting dark anyhow. Make it a top water. Oh, just thunder. <gasps> oh yeah, big fish, big fish. Dude, what is it? No, no way. <gasps> it's off? It's off. It didn't break off, it just popped the hook. Holy crap. That was a giant. <laughs> that was a snook or a tarpon, bro. Right? Top water was a strat, yeah. Oh my god, guys, did you see that? I'm so sorry I didn't catch that for you guys. Oh, a snook. Look at that, Chief. Yep. Giant snook. Giant snook. Like 40 inch snook. Guys, that was a giant snook. I'm shaking still. I'm seriously shaking. Look at that, Chief. Look at that, Chief. It didn't stay pinned. No. I'm using a Sanko as a top order because I messed up on a cast. He's not going to come back. He got hooked, so he's not stupid. That's a heartbreak, guys. A real heartbreak. Using a Sanko as top water. So there you go. You can use a Sanko as top water. Dude, that was an explosion and a half. That was one of the best top water eats I've had in my life. I froze when I saw it. I, I started <laughs> shaking when I saw it. Like, like, at first, I'm like, okay, gator just came up and macked it. But no, I wasn't a gator. Oh, do you believe that? I'm still stunned. I'm a little heartbroken. 
I mean, I have 15 pound fluorocarbon leader on, so the chances of a snook of that caliber being landed, and then I don't even know, I guess it would have been possible to land it, but we would have had to figure something out for that, right? I guess right there, that corner. I don't know what we would have done to actually land it, but was that something or what? Well, we're gonna switch gears from fishing to snake hunting or attempting to snake hunt. I'm gonna set up this GoPro on my selfie stick with a light. I'm gonna have the dash cam GoPro going just in case we see anything crazy crossing the road. And we will hopefully get back with you soon. I ain't better off your high beams out here, right? Oh, are there giant fish in these canals? Yes. across the marsh there pretty cool one looked like a buck didn't it we're just road road cruising here and we haven't seen any snakes or anything like that yet but i have confidence especially after that big explosion from that snook or i think it was a snook so i mean i'm 99 percent sure that was a large amount that was a state record but i'm hopeful very very hopeful we'll see at least one snake tonight Let's see what happens. That's looking snaky. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Let me get you. All right, guys. First snake. What do we got here? Just a water snake. What's up, bud? Here we go. Just a regular old banded water snake. Check him out. Pretty cool. You gonna bite? You gonna be biting? There he is there. Check him out. Very cool snake. This is just a banded water snake. Very common snake. People always confuse them for water moccasins. They look at that head. It does look similar to a venomous snake, does it not? But if you if he stands still, maybe you saw it in the earlier clip, they have rounded pupils where water moccasins have vertical pupils. This is a non-venomous species of snake. And we're just going to move him off the road. Right over here. So he does not get run over by a car. And thank you, buddy. Awesome. Yes. First snake of the night. Let's see if we can get some more. Can we go that way then? That's what I was thinking. Because he's a barrel. He's creeping along, he's looking for the same thing we are, I think. Yeah. I know he kind of burned up this area, obviously to the left, but there's a snake. Oh, I don't yeah. know what that is. Oh, let me get the headlights. Ooh. Hey, a little corn snake. Hey, why are you being so nasty? What's up, bud? You gonna bite me? You gonna bite me in there? Hey, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on, chill out. Alright, alright. Biting the hell out of me. Biting the hell out of me. I'm envenomated by him. Usually these things don't like to... Hope that was a pig frog, not a boar. Uh, these things usually don't bite that much. How cool is that? Little rat snake. Very, very cool. Rattling his tail like crazy. Oh, I'm in time lapse. Ow. Ow. All right, Chris is filming me. My camera's in time lapse. I'm just gonna shut it off. Yep, made me bleed. God, love you. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pass on holding this guy. What? It doesn't hurt that bad. Bleeding. I'm bleeding a little bit. Look, bleeding right here, bleeding right there. This thing done messed me up. Let's get a camera. Let's get a picture of this cool little snake. Glad that we're starting to see some snakes here. Don't bite my face. Wanna get a picture? 
You realize it hurt that bad when he bites you? No. It's a quick little sting. Here. Dude, you're not going to die. I know. I just really don't want to get bit by a snake. Oh, God, please. There's Chris with that beautiful little rat snake. What do you think, Chris? Actually, no, that's a copperhead. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to feel a little woozy now. But we're going to get a release on this snake, Chris. I think he was starting to go this direction so let's put him off to the side of the road so he does not get run over an awesome snake number two don't see these don't see these too often here's a young guy come on little guy go 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 all right he's off yes two snakes tonight let's get some more just pulled over for a minute here it is dinner time we brought some pub subs with us for you guys that don't know what pub subs are basically there's a food store called Publix down here in Florida and they make some really good subs we brought some condiments with us some pickles some mayonnaise some mustard time to eat dinner out in the middle of nowhere let's make up our subs and have some dinner here we go we got our dinner in here our choices tonight well we only have one choice Cuban and the Cuban two Cubans we had the turkey subs earlier so uh, we're gonna get going with some Cubans here we got our mustard definitely need some mustard on the Cuban sandwich and definitely need some pickles on the Cuban I think they come with pickles but they're just small little things so we're gonna spice it up and there's that dried blood from that snake I should probably wash my hands but I guess we're right in the middle of nowhere or yeah, we're gonna find a sink out here. Oh, hey. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Yep. You gotta be. And my light's about to die. Thank God Chris has extra lights just in case we see some more snakes tonight. Yep. Well, uh, don't mind the lack of light here. Um, it's gonna be going on and off. My battery's about to die. Yeah, load it up. Chris is loading up his sub here with some good old pickles. Going three on the Cuban. These things already do have pickles, but we're going to add some more. He's going with the mustard. Should probably open it first. Opening the mustard always does help. There we go. Don't mind the lights, guys. Apparently my battery's just about dead and my light. Yeah, I'm going three deep with the pickles. I don't know how many people could say this here. And we're definitely going with some mustard okay. over on this thing. Just gonna put it right on the bread here. Just like so. Mustard in there. Tap back on the pickles. Do you need the mayo? I don't think so. I don't think it'll right. do good on the Cuban. No mayo on the Cubans. And just put that right on. And let's try these babies out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't leave that in there. These things are pretty damn good right now. Haven't eaten since. Oh, what, 12.30? I think it was. Twelve thirty. We had some good old-fashioned turkey subs from Publix. Before that, we had gas station danishes. So it can't beat that. And we're just going to continue eating our public sub dinners and we'll get back to you soon hopefully we'll see some more snakes we're literally eating our subs and check this out this is a little brown snake how cool is that <laughs> such a cool little snake they're non-venomous not like the brown snake they find in Australia which is highly venomous look at that thing it's like a piece of spaghetti piece of angel hair how funny is that something happened to his tail there excuse me trying to pick up your oop. all right something happened to his tail he's got a little bit of a nub but very cool snake to see little brown snake and we're gonna move him off the side of the road 
this little guy doesn't get hurt. I haven't seen a brown snake in quite a while. Now we're just going to put him right on over this way. And we're going to finish this up. He's probably not going to, he's moving. There he goes. Really cool. Let's finish up our awesome pub subs. I can't believe. <laughs> Pretty gentle they hardly ever bite here's a beautiful little yellow rat snake just a youngling and again the tail is a stub i have a feeling these snakes are getting run over at their tails he's pretty cool to the touch actually he's been sitting feel that they don't bite i'll probably hold them at some point too yeah. but very cool little snakes these are also called everglades rat snakes but common name commonly they're called just yellow rats pretty common snake I have them quite a bit at my dad's property up in Fort Myers um, haven't posted any of those to YouTube but I have a lot of pictures of me holding these guys from up there one of the most gentle snakes you could find they don't have one wicked bone in their body so pretty cool we're gonna let Chris play with this since this is a totally harmless non bitey snake and he's gonna pass the camera over and he could check it out all right really harmless he's calm too calm beautiful little really snakes calm. oh yeah very harmless i love holding these things because they don't bite they don't have one bad bone in their body unique color phase of rat snake to the everglades and uh i'm gonna get a picture of him he just wants to hold on like see how he's yeah. great yeah. yeah he didn't like when you're I totally harmless right tail. you gonna strike no you're not gonna strike you're just curious Just curious. Very curious little snakes. Pretty harmless. Bet if you grab them real hard, they might bite, but if you're just gentle with them like this, they won't bother you. Snakes really aren't that bad. And we're just going to let him go. He was on this side, so let's bring him back over here. Let him go in the grass so he doesn't get run over at any point tonight. And there he goes see you bud thank you <laughs> and that sound that you're hearing behind us sounds like a boar when i first moved down here i thought they were wild boars they're actually called pig frogs hence uh the sound that they're making we only got like three more miles left on this road and we're gonna hit pavement and it's getting a little late it's almost past 11 p.m. and we're gonna get home get some sleep hopefully pretty soon so uh, maybe we'll see another snake in this three miles well we're getting to the pavement here we had a pretty exciting day caught some peacock bass caught some largemouth bass we saw that dead rattlesnake we saw a few bears a few deer did something a little bit different than what I typically do in my videos and we came out to the Everglades and we did some road cruising at night saw what four different species of snake which is definitely very cool I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my friends always stay fishing and we'll see you on the next one